Hey guys, Steph here, and today's video is one of my favorite things to take action to grow your business online. And it doesn't involve showing your face on camera, because I know a lot of you guys despise that. I know myself, uh, years ago when my business coach told me that um, she thought that video was my thing, I told her to eat my shorts. So listen up to hear my number one way you can go live without showing your face sorry, not go live. The number one way you can grow your business without showing your face and you can actually do it today. So you guys are health coaches, you are used to educating people or maybe you just came out of school, but you've been in school doing case studies or you are that person that people always ask for advice. So you're used to educating. The thing with growing and online marketing is people will listen if you're doing one of two things. You're educating or you're entertaining. If you can do both, great. Um, but if you're super nervous and being silly on camera or getting the attention on you is not your jam, no worries. I bet you are an amazing educator. And if you don't think you are, think again. Um, a lot of us don't give ourselves enough credit. Um, so think of something that you would love to teach on for 30 minutes. Make it super specific and think of if you just got out of school or if you've been in practice for years, what was your favorite thing to talk about? Who was your favorite type of client? What just rolls off your tongue when family members ask you specific questions? What do you love to talk about? What do you know like the back of your hand? So that's the topic that you're going to choose. And guess what? Back to university days, we're going to make a PowerPoint. So PowerPoints are great because people like to see what they're learning. Um, so you're going to make a PowerPoint. Super simple. I bet you you have a ton on your computer. You can jazz them up, put some pictures in. Um, you always want to pose the problem at the beginning of your PowerPoint or you know you're in the right spot if you want to grow your business online. If you are burnt out, you're a health coach struggling and you know that you want to take your business full time. So you let your audience know right away um, they're in the right spot if. You can even do you're not in the right spot if. X, Y, and Z. Um, so that's how you start it out. So people know right when they start the video if it's for them or not. Um, you can encourage comments. So comment below uh, where you're joining from, which just gets your video or your education out in front of more people. Um, give me a high five. And Facebook algorithms actually don't count just singular emojis anymore. It's got to be, I think, four characteristics to count as a comment. It's just Facebook's way of getting rid of the robots, um, which is totally fine in my books. Um, and then it's encouraging that authentic communication, that authentic engagement. So right at the beginning, you want to um, ask your audience to share it out. If you guys think this is useful to your audience, share it, tag your friends, share in your groups, um, so that right away, within a couple minutes of starting, you're getting it out. And then you go through your PowerPoint slide or your education. I love top three tips. My top three tips to cut cravings. My top three tips to grow your business online. And then it gets people um, knowing kind of to follow along. Oh, we're on tip two. We're almost done. And you tell them a timeline. So people's time is precious. So you say, we'll be together for about 20 minutes today and I'm going to teach you exactly how to grow your business online. Um, and then you walk through the PowerPoint, you give them the goods. And then at the end, this is the part that people often don't want to do, but you actually offer them something or ask for if they want more information, it's a call to action. So at the end, you can either say, if you love this information, come join me in my free community group, work smarter, not harder to grow your business online, to do our free go live for five challenge. Um, so you can drive them to a free offer. Or if you're currently launching something, you can say, um, I'm currently interviewing for my spring mastermind group. I'm taking five coaches, um, would love to get you on the phone and um, see if you're a good fit. Something like that if you're currently in launch mode. But you definitely want to have a little call to, call to action at the end because this is the step that people will speed through because they're nervous. We None of us kind of want to promote ourselves or we're kind of embarrassed. But you just gave them 20 minutes of awesome content and you're actually disservicing your client if you don't give them the next step. So if you can imagine you went to a Tony Robbins uh, seminar and then he had no next steps or no programs or no books and you were so lit up and you wanted to move forward. That's what I mean by you got to have something for your audience. And if they don't, if they don't want anything, they'll just leave, right? 
So better to talk more about it than less. So that's the number one mistake people make when they do these online webinars is they're like, all right, that, there's the information, see ya. You gotta tell them what's next and how they can get more of you if they um, want more, especially when you're in the health industry or the service industry, you're actually helping people. So that's at the very end. And then this, this webinar on Facebook actually can be repurposed and used over and over again. I have one, um, it was titled Take Back Control of Your Life uh, for my health business and it continues to work for me 24 seven, even when I'm not even currently launching anything within that. Uh, my programs and my passive stuff within my health business are still selling from that webinar that I did a long time ago. So um, this is what I mean, you can, take massive action right away and you don't even have to have to have your face on the camera because I know that that's nerve wracking. A lot of people don't want to go live. They don't want to have their face on the camera. And if it's really, you can do this two ways. You can pre-record it or you can simply share your screen and go live. So you're capitalizing on the fact that Facebook and Instagram owned by the same person, they love live videos. So what that does is it actually pushes your stuff in front of more people as opposed to if you're uploading a static video. Um, so if you can go live with it, great. If you are too nervous to do that, you can just record it on your computer and then um, upload it. And the good news is you can do it as many times as you want and it's not overkill because you're going to do the presentation a little bit different every time. It's like going and presenting at a coffee shop or a networking event, right? Um, you can do it multiple times and then just keep your favorite one as well. You're going to get different people at different times. Um, I like the number three, so you can always do it three different times to catch different audiences and you can repurpose it. If you do it on Facebook, you can actually download it to your laptop re-upload it to YouTube, that's getting in front of more people. You can download it and repurpose the audio into a podcast. You can share it directly with people who, you know when um, people message you for questions um, and you don't have anything to give them for free, that's what you can give them for free so that you're not burning yourself out. So then they get a chance to learn from you, get your vibe, and then at the end if they want more, you've told them it. So. That's my number one way to actually take action immediately if you're nervous to get on camera, if you're burnt out, you're stuck in business and you don't know what to do to get um, your business growing. And if you are nervous, you don't know what to teach on, start brainstorming. And what would you love to teach on for 30 minutes? Why did you go to school in the first place? What are you passionate about? What um, are the things that people ask you and you don't mind talking about? If you were to be asked to go speak at an event, what would you pick? Um, check your computer. You probably have all sorts of PowerPoints. So when I'm asked to speak, I always speak on how to go from burnout to success, my four step process. So that to me, I can kind of take that um, backbone and I do a different presentation each time because of the way that um, I, you can kind of change it around. But the backbone is the same so that you get more confident and comfortable with your information. So that's my number one way is to create a PowerPoint and presentation that you, it's your go-to because the bigger you get, people are going to be asking you to go talk on their platforms and you're going to want to say yes and you're going to want to have a plan beforehand so you're not subconsciously sh shooting yourself down. So if you have this easy system in place, you're going to put out that energy um, confidence and people are going to ask you to be on their platform. You're going to know what to say when people ask you for free advice in your inbox. It's no longer a burden. It's actually awesome. Um, so that's my number one tip. Let me know below if you're going to try this out. And the cool thing is on Facebook, you can actually just share your screen. So no fancy software. Back in the day when I used to do these, I would use, um, what was it called? OBS. And it, it was great because it was free, but the, I would get this crazy feedback, like screeching at the beginning and the screen would look all weird. So now you just, none of that. You pull up your PowerPoint, you go into your Facebook, you hit live, share screen, go live, bam, three steps, hit, hit, go live, hit, share my screen, make sure your PowerPoint's up and then click go live. That's it. And you can share your screen to with your audience and it's honestly it was never the information that I was sharing it was 
is this going to share properly? And I've done full presentations where I thought that my screen was sharing and it was my face and I wasn't ready to be on camera. I was thought that my PowerPoint was going to be up. So no more of that nonsense. Facebook's done a really good job at adding these things in that we can use as business owners to really educate and entertain um, to get visible and get in front of our potential clients because people will purchase from you online if they like, know, and trust you. And the best way to do that is to share your stuff. Um, so that being said, guys, I have my spring mastermind coming up. It's starting Sunday, March 25th. So just over a week away, I'm doing my interviews this week. Um, the thing with a mastermind is you want everybody to jive really well because it's not only me facilitating it, but it's everybody as a group. So I'm going to interview everybody this week. We've got about 10 people interested and um, I've got that event floating around on Facebook. On Instagram, it's actually my bio link. Super affordable. It's $197 for the four weeks. And what you get in those four weeks is you get, um, you're, you're going to come out on the back end um, effortlessly attracting your ideal client because I know that's the problem. It was my problem for seven years, yo-yoing from having my business to getting jobs. I interview coaches all the time and that's the problem. They have so much to share and so much value to give, but no clients. So that's the goal with the mastermind. It's my four step process to grow online and effortlessly attract your ideal client. So um, message me if you can't find it, but super simple in the bio link. And then I'm also going to post it on Facebook in the comments. Um, four Sundays, we're going to meet as a group four Sundays in a row and you also get unlimited access to me. That's something else that I have I found really useful when I was quitting my day job and transitioning to full-time as well. I always ask my coaches that coach with me in my 90-day growth plan, I say, hey guys, what was the most beneficial? And they say that. They say having you at my fingertips um, really helps with the confidence, with making sure when I'm doing a post or when I'm having a conversation with a client or a potential sales call, um, to have me at their fingertips. So I respond within 48 hours and that's been super successful and super beneficial. So that's included. And that's all. That's it. All right, guys, thanks for joining and I'll see you on the flip side.